Hey everyone, Technometry with the video for you guys. Now, if you're unable to receive or make calls after the iOS 18 update on your iPhone, you want to go ahead and follow these troubleshooting steps to fix it. So let's get started. The very first thing you want to do is pull down the control menu here and then put your phone on airplane mode briefly for 10-15 seconds and then turn that off. And that does a quick network refresh. Now, this can also be done from the settings. You can see airplane mode right up top. Turn it on and then turn it off. And from there on, pull down the control menu and see that your cellular service shows up with the bar, which means your cellular service should be working. Now, if it's not working, the next thing to go ahead and do is following this step. You're going to quickly press and release the volume up, quickly press and release the volume down, and then hold on to the side button until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears. So I'll do quickly press and release volume up, volume down, and then I hold on to the side button. During this process, do not touch the screen at all. Just keep on holding that side button and we're going to wait for the phone to completely shut down and then wait to see the Apple logo reappear before we let go of that side button. This is another a forced restart which basically shuts down the phone software, reloads the code. So if it's a software related bug, that will go ahead and fix it. This method will not delete any of your data. So all of your photos, videos, apps will be fine on your phone. So you want to go ahead and do that. And if it doesn't work the very first time, just keep on trying. You're just going to quickly press the volume up, volume down before holding on to that side button and once you're back on it should go ahead and work for you. Now the next thing to do if you're still having issue is checking if there's a carrier update. So in order to check that you're going to go to setting on your iPhone, go to setting then general and then you're going to click on the about and when you're sitting on your, this page you're going to wait until you see a pop-up that comes up. If there's a carrier update a pop-up will come up like this which will say carrier setting update is are available would you like to update and click on update here and this again takes about 15 20 seconds maybe even 30 seconds if there is an update now if there is an update you won't be able to do anything just simply move on to the next step which is going to be going into our next troubleshooting step which from the main settings we're going to go to general scroll down to transfer reset iphone tap on that and then we click on reset and then the reset we want to do is reset network settings which basically will allow us to reset the network settings it will not delete your number or anything like that all this is doing is resetting the settings themselves uh, to factor your default so if you had Bluetooth connected devices or Wi-Fi you have to reconnect to them but again important step to do it takes about a minute or two to do which for the sake of the video I'm not going to do but something you need to do in order to fix the problem so after you have done that the next thing to check out on your phone is ensuring maybe the call that you can't make or receive is in your blocked list so just go into your setting and go all the way down to apps and then go find the phone app here so you're going to look for P under phone or you can search it up and then you're going to want to ensure that where it says a block contact make sure that so there you want to review that list and unblock someone by swiping left on the next page if you have someone that's blocked of course they're not going to be able to call and you can uh, receive call from them so you want to review that list ensuring that maybe the person you're looking for a call trying to call you is coming through so that's going to be important another setting you might want to turn off is the silent unknown callers if this turns on uh, if the phone doesn't recognize the phone number, it might silence them and it might not show up. So I recommend just turning this off to test out to make sure it is not a, a blocking you. Now, the next thing you want to go ahead and do if you're still troubleshooting is pull down the control menu, see where it says focus mode. You want to tap on that, make sure that it's a do not disturb is turned on. You want to turn that setting off or just simply turn it on and off just to make sure that is off or any of these focus modes. Sometimes these can also interfere with calls not uh, being able to come through because they're blocked because they want to help you focus on your phone. So following these steps are going to be crucial whenever you're doing this. Now the next uh, thing to go ahead and do is if you're still having issue is trying to see if there's another update out to fix it. So in your settings go to general software update and check there's an update sometimes Apple releases update to fix another update that might have broken things like this one example fixes important bug fixes so you want to go ahead and update your phone now once you update it to the latest version let's say you've updated and you did all of this and still having issues it's time to contact your carrier sometimes your carrier needs to also do something on their end uh, to just make sure your account is in good standing sometimes you know they push out an update themselves and along with the update of the phone it could also interfere 
and contact them just to make sure that everything is working and hopefully after that it is working for you and then along with that is if you have a physical sim card that you're still using instead of e-sim card you want to go ahead and take that out and put it back in i don't have it here because usually this is the iphone 15 uh, 16 pro which doesn't have in the u.s version a physical sim card because you're using e-sim card but if you had one just take it out put it back in and by hopefully going all through all these steps your phone is now able to receive and make calls and if this video is helpful please consider the like and subscribe button also if you found another way to fix the problem do share it in the comment section and we'll see you guys in the next video